Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in the gorgeous city of Copenhagen, Denmark. And today we're gonna go on an ultimate Danish street food tour of Copenhagen. We're gonna visit some of the markets, some of the traditional markets, some of the modern creative food markets. Uh, we're gonna eat a lot of delicious food. I think it's just past 8 a.m. Um, we're gonna meet up with my friend Espen and so that's the plan for the day. It's gonna be an amazing day and I'm gonna share all the food and this entire experience with you in this video. Okay. Good morning Espen. Can you help me to pronounce the name one more time? Tol Tol Tolhallerne. Tolhallerne. So it's a bit of a Danish <laughs> uh, street food market here. Okay. In... It's a very like gourmet, a lot of artisan um, ingredients as well as restaurant stalls. And so as Ben knows some people here, we're gonna walk around, we're gonna eat, do some eating, and then also see the, the produce. Man, step in here immediately greeted by seafood and the aroma of like smoked fish smoked wow look at the size of those I think those are monkfish there's lobsters oh man okay this is a very cool market yeah so some of the things available all of the different seafood there's lots of different salads there's even some international products um, oh okay <laughs> So we can eat like whatever you yeah, yeah. think I mean, also. Uh, yeah, I have uh, I know this guy who's had okay. this place. Uh, they're selling like very local products and okay. uh, a lot of fun. Also uh, some canned fish, I think we should Yeah, 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 let's so, try that. So maybe we should go there now okay. and then we can go and have and some can... uh, fish later. Perfect. Afterwards. Hello. Nice Danny. to meet you, Mark. Danny, welcome. Thank you. I think we should try this one out. Yeah, sure. So this one is uh, sprat with uh, heather and chamomile. Okay. I'm just gonna grab a lemon and a piece of bread for you. Okay, so to begin with, we're starting with a can of preserved, they're actually smoked sprat, sprat fish. Huh? Oh, uh -huh, okay. And actually, just eat it whole. Okay. Mm. And then you can eat it with the bread too. Yeah. So it's a little bit like like sardines, anchovy, uh, anchovies kind okay, of thing. Okay. But then go ahead also here. Oh yeah, the smokiness of it. Yeah. And really soft. Okay, I'll get another, and then I'll uh, taste with some of this bread and this bread. Oh, the bread is incredible. It's so crusty on the outside and then like so airy, bubbly on the inside. That fish though, it's really, really good. You barely even like feel the bones. It's just like one solid piece of meat. So, thank you. Uh, chicken salad on uh, free range organic chickens with the uh, pickled uh, mushrooms, uh, trumpets and chanterelles gherkin on the side, as it should be, on good Danish rye so as well, of very, course. This is a very Danish very, mixture. Very, okay. very, very Danish. Mm. Oh wow. That is creamy. So creamy, so rich, and then like shredded chicken within this, like really almost like sticky, delicious, like thick sauce. And then it just kind of crumbles into that ripe. Oh, that is really good. Give me a minute. It's good, this cheese. They're both good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're both really good, both really different. That chicken salad is like hearty. 
That is thick. It's almost cheesy. It's so thick. That was a delicious first stop. This place is called Omen and Venner. Um, and the owner, he's very cool. But all sorts of cured meats, preserved things, cheeses, uh, really good handcrafted quality artisan things to eat. Yeah, that was delicious. Okay, we are moving right across the lane. Oysters who also have oysters and Okay, so this stall right across is just like the, uh, a cabinet full of all sorts of meat products. I mean, they have a lot of raw meat that you can take home and cook, uh, but they also have a number of things that are meats that are cooked. So we're gonna try some of the fricadella, which are the they're kind of like they're like, kind of like patties of it's minced minced meat, yeah. kind of like meatballs, kind of like pork. Actually, it's a uh, mix of, pork. of pork and uh, and beef. It's a very traditional Danish uh, food. Very traditional yeah. Danish food. We're gonna try some of that now. They're kind of like giant meatballs, patties, and they're kind of like like one side is more caramelized than the other. They're really puffy, really, really thick. Oh yeah, this is so good. I feel meaty and like spongy. You can taste the onions in them. Mm. That's awesome. You want me to just make my frying pan? Mm. So that's why one side is more yeah. caramelized than the other. Okay. Yeah. So it's like one side down. Yeah. Maybe like adding in some. And we fry it in, 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 in butter. Mmm. Yeah. And you could eat this with bread. It would go good with bread. It's also fantastic, just as a steak, just like straight meat. Entering into the next building, and this one immediately you can smell coffee. I think there's a lot of like coffee shops. There's wine. There's bread. Similar, but kind of like different, different products. Oh. This one's a like classic one. Ah, okay. So maybe we should have a okay. all the size. Okay. This is called a floatable. And is there a correct way to eat this? Yeah. Or you just got a bite? Will it collapse? No, yeah. Or just, you just uh, bite from the top? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's definitely a unique shape for a chocolate. Yeah. Don't eat the tag, by the way. Mmm. Okay. That's good. Now I understand why it can be so big. It's filled with cream. And then just the outside wrapper is chocolate. Actually, it's not actually cream on the inside. It's made from fluffed egg whites, so it's more like a meringue. Yeah, but it's really fluffy, really creamy, made from eggs. Okay, so next up we've stopped at a place it's called I Love Fisk. Um, and this is mostly fish they have, uh, but they have mostly prepared dishes and their specialty are, it's a fish fricadella, so it's a big like fish patty. And we got the traditional one, which is made from cod. It's kind of minced up. There's probably some egg in there. There might be a little bit of flour. It's kind of like a, like a very thick kind of mayonnaise dressing salad and also served with a slice of rye bread. So you kind of get some of the, some of the fish patty and then some of that, that yellow yeah, yeah, yeah. salad rumbole. Rumba. Rumbole. 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 Mm. Oh, wow. That romanella is, it is thick and creamy. And then you've got the, the fish patty is almost kind of like fluffy. It's, it's good, really good. Yeah, like a giant fish meatball. And kind of like airy and fluffy and spongy. And then again, pan fried, so it has that kind of crispy crust around it. Oh. And that like, the fish patty, but I think especially that salad because of so much mayonnaise and the, the creaminess of it. It is rich and heavy. That is hearty. That is filling. Mm. Yeah. And 
we are gonna move on to eat a little more seafood, I think, before we move on to the next street food market. Or some different kind of oysters. That's oh, actually the Danish one, the big one. Is there one more thing we should try here? Like uh, a just lot. one? Okay, a lot. <laughs> But this one is the most Danish we all have. It's Danish shrimps from Skagen. Ooh. So, I think that's more like uh, that. Let's try. Yeah, well. we ordered some oysters, a couple of oysters, Danish oysters, and also a shrimp kind of mixed salad, and we're moving over here. I think there's some counter space where we can eat them. Let's have the Danish oyster. So we just, yeah, I mean, it's alone. So also eating the very traditional way. The Danish oysters, beef oysters. Danish oysters, cheers, yeah, man. Cheers. cheers. Mm. Very fresh. Yeah, very fresh. Still good. Briny with the lemon. Mm. That was delicious. That was a, a bite of pure joy. We also got a little tub of uh, this is a traditional Danish shrimp salad and I think it might be there's some kind of a dressing but there's definitely some dill in there maybe some kind of herbs or vegetables maybe some onions in there oh wow oh that's amazing oh the freshness of the dill the texture of those shrimp and then just the cooling like creamy mayonnaise -y dressing oh that's really good that would go really good with rye bread but also just good on its own, so just straight. That's delicious and cooling. You see, they're made by some heating. Only on the traditional way you can do with the... Like the gold, and the top in And then finally to wrap up the, I think, our snacking at this market, we got a mixed plate of smoked fish. And smoked fish is very common, very traditional throughout the history of Denmark. We got the, the main fish is a smoked herring, and herring is very popular. But we also got some smoked eel, which has then been like peeled, the skin peeled, and so it's just the, the meat. And then also some smoked salmon along with a couple slices of rye bread. And the rye bread in Denmark is just, it's just incredibly delicious. Like the crumbly graininess of it, I love it. So we're gonna taste some of these smoked fish next. It's not so easy with this kind of knife. <laughs> To cut off the skin. Yeah. No problem. So it's basically like this. And you normally eat the skin or you don't need the skin? No, we don't need the skin. Oh, okay. So normally you're serving on rye bread, maybe with an egg yolk and uh, some chives and a little bit of marinade. So I'll just start on some of that that herring before trying with, with the rye bread, just the, the pure herring. Mm. Oh, I love it. Oh wow, that's awesome. It's like creamy in texture. It's so smoky and salty. It's so flavorful. And you can almost like, because it's smoky and moist, you can almost like spread it. You can almost spread it on bread. Okay, and then this one is the smoked salmon. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is like so oily and rich and just like mm, so smoky. Yeah. It's so buttery. Really good salmon. Okay, and then finally for the to try the smoked eel. Oh, wow. Like a totally different texture. It's kind of like jellied mm, and creamy. And you, you take the first bite and it's like cool. But then like the smokiness just like comes out of it as you take a bite, as you chew. The eel's awesome. The eel is so good. Okay, next up I'll try some of the herring on the rye bread. Mm. Yeah, like it literally like spreads onto bread. Um, I just love the rye bread in Denmark. Like it's so, it has whole grains of rye, so you feel the texture, and it's not like dry bread at all. The rye bread is not dry bread. It's very moist. Okay, and I'm gonna have that piece of eel. I think that eel is the best for me. But everything is good. I loved all these, I love all these smoked fish with the rye bread. Salmon is good, herring is good. 
but the eel. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, that was fantastic, thank you. Oh man, that actual ending smoked fish tray was one of the highlights for me. Really, really good. Uh, from here, we are driving to a street food market which is called Refen. To the street food market is called Refen, and it's in it's on an island across from the Copenhagen Harbor, across from the downtown Copenhagen. But this is a very artistic area. It's a very it's an industrial it was a former industrial area and shipyards, but now it's a really like yeah artistic kind of trendy area. And I love what they've done is that they've kept a lot of the traditional warehouses and shipyards, but they've just turned them into different functions. And so now there's a lot of restaurants in this area. There's a lot of like hangouts, social places, and then the street food market, FN street food market, which is made from old warehouses as well as shipping containers. Again. Hello, Hello again. Yeah, so we're gonna walk a lot more through the market and eat some of the food But just walking through you notice a lot of there's a lot of international food stands and I just love how it's so artistic It's kind of like permanent makeshift, but um, Jasper was telling us there's over a hundred containers that make up the market and Every there's no like print design everything is hand-painted everything is each own person's Creativity, so, Wait, you said from how many countries are there food? 17 17 different yeah. countries, okay so, so we're really, we're we actually the good neighborhood in Copenhagen. Yeah, yeah, it really is like an entire international culinary community back in here. Hi. You have to taste first an and then bread. Yes. Yes. Okay. Inside. Okay. Boom. Yes. Boom. I like it. Yeah. With some garlic oil on top. Oh yeah. Very good, thank you. This is one of the stalls that will immediately catch your attention at the street food market. Uh, it's a Mexican inspired stall. The meat here is pork and it looks kind of like conchinita pibil when they have a pan of the meat which is just like simmering in its own juices over charcoal. Oh, this is some smoke you just want to bathe in and and just inhale. No, you shouldn't inhale it. Okay, but it does smell really, really good. Yeah, tacos, and then he make it for tortilla. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, it's so fresh. Yes. Hola, <laughs> buenos días. Buenos días. And yeah. Yes. con guacamole. Gracias. Y pico de gallo. Y pico de gallo. Y esta es conchinita pibil. Es una Solo. es similar, sí, okay, es similar. Ajá, es, okay. similar. Okay. es como una combinación entre pastor y cochinita ah, pibil. Okay. Así es. Qué bueno, qué bueno. Muy rico. And these are some of the like tortillas that he makes as well as some of the I think some, some guacamole and some of the vegetables. Uh, mm. huh? Very good, yeah. yeah. Very, very good. Hi, Eska. Mark, nice, Hi, to, Mark. Meet nice you. to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So, Mike, I guess that you want uh, some hot dogs here, right? Yes, please. <laughs> and I heard something about you like to make them yourself. <laughs> it's, the, it's the chef one, actually, the one I use. <laughs> oh, you're filming. <laughs> okay, thank you. Just put it on like this. All right. And, and then, then to be sure. so I'm about to head into Nordic Dogs. Inside the cart, we're gonna make the we're gonna make the hot dogs. And actually, they're not even hot dogs. They're like most of them are venison dogs or a mix of beef hot dogs. And we're gonna make them. We're gonna fix them. Let's go in. <laughs> Let's go in. Great. See gloves on. And it also smells just the Nordic. And it's like. You can always smell it like Brioche bread, oh, yeah. with butter. 
And then three minutes, and if today, for the one we make, that's the detonant. Ah. And the, you know, the crisp. Ah. And then, pork sausage. So yeah. First, the mustard. In this case, it's the seaweed. Add mustard. extra apple into it. There's always apple. Like the Danish tartar sauce. Okay. And then it's the, with the raw onion. Fried onion. Yes, please. Oops, maybe too much. Yeah. And then we will do the spinach and stuff. Okay. And that means that they still have a little bit of really good taste to the pork sausage. Okay. So here in the north and Denmark in general, we love chocolate milk. So I'm just gonna give you a half glass and if you Thank love you. it, you always get more. Okay. Really? Ready? Mm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is one gourmet, beautiful hot dog. Mm. Mm. And then we have the chocolate milk. Oh wow. Mm. The quality of that hot dog, the bun just like, just completely pillowy. The different sauces, the caramelized onion, and then just that vinegariness from the pickles. Mm. Very good. There is a reason why it almost lasts for 100 years now. 2021 will be the 100th year anniversary for hot dogs here in Copenhagen. Wow. So some Danes don't eat hot dogs without the chocolate milk? No. Some Danes eat hot dogs to have the chocolate milk. Mm. Is yeah. that right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's something yeah. I never knew. Wow. Oh man, that's just like, that's liquid chocolate. Yeah. It is. And so creamy. Yeah. Wow, they There's do complement each other. There's only four ingredients in it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, organic Danish milk, a hint of salt, sugar, and then the vanilla well chocolate. And that's wow. just that's the only thing that contains and of course and I think organic like milk a, we use. Like I think that might be my first time to ever have hot dog and cold cho chocolate milk combination. Mm. And then the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the chocolate. That's the flavor combination as well. Come on, Mark, just Whoa. do it. Come on, that's a big bite. Come on, do it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mayonnaise homemade from the OU. Okay, we're gonna try one more which is uh, a special for today, which is a venison hot dog. And so he's just searing that off and then gonna dress it. Venison fusion hot dog. And this one, yeah, made from venison with that beautiful salad on top. Oh, it looks good. That is number two, yes. Okay, I have a taste. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you have a taste. Mmm. Oh, the hot the hot Oh, wow, wow. Wow. That is a quality hot dog. I mean, venison dog. Hello, sir. A deer dog, that's what it is. It's a deer dog. What's up? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm. Thrilla in Manila. This is an awesome little yeah. stall serving Filipino street food. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Crispy pork, kind of like a garlicky, kind of nutty tasting sauce. Here we have marinated. It's been sous vide. Oh, nice. And what's your name? Alfie. Alfie, Alfie Escobarte. Awesome. No, I'm hanging out with Alfie in the kitchen. Bye, Thrilla in Manila. Guy, Thank you so this. much for having us. He's doing some amazing Filipino street food yeah. in Copenhagen. Oh, and he's wow. making for us a sous vide chicken yeah, with spicy sauce. Filipino oh, man. Street oh man, that smells good. Oh, yeah. Here All right, have... spicy sauce, a drizzle of lime juice. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's good to her. That's good. Oh, it's so good. Like a kind of tanginess of it too. Yeah. The spiciness of that sauce. Oh man. And because the chicken is sous vide, like it retains its juiciness. It holds in that juice. Oh, and something else is coming. It'd be great. Okay. Ready? Cheers, guys. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Wow, yeah, yeah. It's tender juicy oh fatty juicy pork and that sauce maybe a little bit like a little hoisin flavoring, hoisin flavoring. Um, Slightly sweet salty a little tangy Yeah Nailed it man. Thanks man. Really really good. Really good <laughs>
okay. sour with the uh, fresh ginger. Nice. Uh, what is that? What is it? It's a uh, chicken. Mm. Thank you so much. Trilla in Manila. Keep it up. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you Mark. Thank you. Very cool. Also, a massive thank you to Jesper and to Sin for hosting us, for showing us around the market as well. Uh, we're just walking through the central train station right now, a massive bike parking lot, but we're walking next up on this ultimate Danish street food tour of Copenhagen. We're walking over to Tivoli Gardens where they have a food hall and it's relatively new, but also uh, another like public social dining hall atmosphere where we're gonna maybe look around, get a little bit of food before we eat one more thing on this tour. So we're just stepping into Tivoli Food Hall and this is actually connected or right on the side of Tivoli Gardens which is uh, a classic, it's a historical entertainment amusement park in Copenhagen, very very famous. Uh, but we're just gonna walk around here, see what they have to eat and it's also a very mix of international food available here, everything from tacos, there's pizza, there's like chicken wings, there's even Asian, there's uh, sushi, there's some meat places. Um, but it, it's really high quality, it does look really good. A lot of like organic quality, high quality ingredients that they're using in this market as well. One of the most famous or well-known of all Danish food, and I'm gonna need you to help me pronounce it again. Smokkebrod. 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 No, 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 We got three different types of the smokkebrod. Smokkebrod. Um, I'm gonna, before I leave Denmark, I'm gonna learn how to say that properly. Uh, but one is the steak tartare, so it's like a minced beef, raw minced beef, so it's like a minced beef raw burger patty over rye bread with a bunch of different toppings. There's onion, there's capers, and I think it's served with raw egg yolk. Yeah, and then a couple of, as well. And horseradish all on there. Oh, I love steak tartare. And then we got a couple of different pickled herrings, which is also very Danish, very traditional. So artful, so beautiful, decorated, open face. And those are capers, there's red onions, little sprouts. This one is the, what type of, this is a uh, marinated, this is like, marinated yeah, herring. Yeah, it's a classic okay. uh, one. And the other one is a little bit more, it's called, it's more spicy. So okay, try this one first. And all these like buttered bread too, right? Yeah. The rye bread is buttered with the smoked pickled herring and the red onions and some sprouts on there too. Good. Really good. Mm. The herring, yeah, it's kind of like pickled. It's kind of like briny, kind of, kind of like sweet and sour. Then with the the rye bread that just crumbles, the crunch of the red onions and the like, kind of like pickled capers as well. Mm. Oh yeah, kind of has like almost a like a nutmeggy taste to it, Mark. Oh nice. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's not runny anymore. It's kind of... Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the steak tartare. Tartare, and then with horseradish, with onions, with pickles, with... Kind of mix everything with that yolk. That is a beautiful touch as well. Just a runny yolk. At first it just kind of plopped and then it... Then it popped. My first try at getting steak tartare with a fork. It's not very pretty, but it will work. That is awesome with the crunch of the onion, with the coolness of the raw beef. Maybe just a little bit of horseradish on that bite. I probably missed it. And then with the, the richness of the egg yolk, the creaminess of the egg yolk. Very, it's very nice in there. Again, a lot of international food and it's a very hangout friendly. Like there's some tapas style dining where you can sit, where you can have a drink, where you can hang out with friends. Uh, from here though, there is one more thing that like there was no way we could have a an iconic Danish street food tour of Copenhagen without eating it and right across the street right in front of the train station is where we're going I can't wait I've been waiting for this moment
John's Hot Dog Deli. This is one of the most well-known legendary for hot dogs, traditional Danish hot dogs, which are world famous. And what's amazing about John's Hot Dog Deli is that he keeps the recipe traditional. The hot dogs are traditional style Danish. Hundreds of years of history in the hot dog in the tube steak, uh, but he kind of upgrades the ingredients and makes high quality ingredients, makes his own ketchup, makes his own toppings, and so they're good quality. I cannot wait. You get that hot dog steam aroma as soon as you step underneath the awning in this cart, and I love it. I just love to take it back to the classic, to the tradition. This is as traditional of a Danish hot dog as possible. And with uh, different kinds of toppings, we have ketchup, uh, mustard. She has the ketchup, mustard. The oh, okay. yeah, the remoulade. Yeah. Okay, okay. Cucumbers, onions, small and fried. Okay, and then some ketchup and mustard. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, it's so awesome. It has, what I love is it has, the hot dog has that snap to it. As soon as you bite down, like that skin just snaps. And then it's still like warm and comforting on the inside with the sauces oozing. And then if you drop any toppings, the pigeons are immediate to, to yeah. grab it. <laughs> it works well. <laughs> no lift, it was. Mm. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> I got some ketchup on my... On my feet. But yeah. The bun is also really nice and light. And as soon as you like press down with your teeth, it just sort of like collapses. Because it's toasted, so it's crunchy. That's all you could possibly want in a tr traditional hot dog. Okay, final bite. Mm. That was everything I had hoped it was going to be, and more. Oh, that just hit the spot. Yeah. That is a must. That was a delicious way to end this Danish street food tour of Copenhagen. It's been a wonderful day. It's been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot about Danish food and Copenhagen. And I want to say a big thank you to Visit Copenhagen for bringing me on this trip, for inviting me to explore the food in Copenhagen as well. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, and be sure to stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe and also turn on your bell notification so you get notified of the next video that I publish. There's going to be more Danish. We've got some very exciting Danish food tours planned in Copenhagen uh, that you're not going to want to miss a lot of food coming up so stay tuned and I want to say a big thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video